my sensors indicate a new episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech has just been uploaded. Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, and we are going to be working on the Frank and Mac some more today. And so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be modifying this IR cable. As you can see, this is the original one, but what we're going to do is we're going to cut it in half and we're going to add about uh, 10 inches to it there. And that way that'll give us plenty of room and we'll be able to mount this uh, very easily behind the activity light lens on the front of the uh, Mac SE 30 uh, case. Plus, it'll allow the IR sensor to work as well, too. So what we plan on doing is we're going to cut it about here. And uh, then what we're going to be using, and it, it's small enough wire. This is actually uh, out of a phone cord. Okay, and it's pretty tiny wire. Um, and it's actually uh, not silicone, but it's uh, maybe kind of a, t a nylon type of casing on it. But it'll work just fine. Now this is four wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to, this cable's very long. We're going to cut it in half and that way we'll have our fifth wire. And then what we're going to do is we are going to shrink wrap it in little areas after we cut it. So that way it'll be easier to manage. And then, uh, then that way we can uh, reassemble it here. We're going to solder it. And then that way, again, that'll give us plenty of room to work with here. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be setting up for it here. So um, let me just set up here and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've um, cut the wires. So this is going to be my length here. And I've added the fifth wire in here. And so what I did is I put some uh, blue painter's tape on here. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to actually be putting little sections of shrink wrap on here heating up so I can keep this flat all the way, okay? And then uh, I'm gonna go through about every, uh, probably about every inch and put one of these, and that way it'll keep the wire looking nice and oriented. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about this end, this end just yet. I'm gonna get the shrink wrap all the way down on this thing so I can manage this cable a lot easier. And then once we get all the shrink wrap on it, then we will uh, start preparing it to uh, get it connected with the uh, main cable. So um, be back in just a moment. I'm going to get my solder, uh, get some things set up here, and we'll be back. Okay, guys. So uh, here's one of the shrink wraps on it. Now you see how nice and flat that is. I'm trying to get this to where you guys can see it here. Uh, there we go. See, it's nice and flat there. Now, I'm going to show you a trick on it here. So, this is what we're going to do. And this is, uh, you know, if you wanted to just put shrink wrap on it and just bundle it all together, that's one way. But I'm just trying to kind of keep some of the original look to it because the IR cable, it's flat the way they got it shrink wrapped. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do it, but there's a way you can make it flat and I'm going to show you here and uh, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to put a piece on here okay and uh, like I said I'm going to speed this video up in spots so that way uh, not to bore you to death but I'm just going to show you kind of in detail on this particular one here how we're going to do it so we're going to slide it all the way up here like that okay and uh, like I said, I'm, I'm going to space them about an inch apart. Now, you, we want to make sure our wires are oriented correctly. So we're going to put it right about there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little hemostats here. And I'm just going to kind of grab it in the center here. Okay, like that. Okay. And then what this is going to do, it's going to, well, for one thing, it's going to give me something to hold on to. But it's going to kind of squeeze the wires here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash it with a little bit of heat. Let me put this down here so I can get my torch going here. This is just a little propane torch. I use this uh, for optical work. But anyways, this gets about 3,000 degrees if you, if you get it hot enough. So anyway, we got to be careful not to burn the house down here. So, okay. 
So we're going to go like this. I'm going to kind of I'm get it bunched up here. Okay, right there. That looks pretty good. And then what we're going to do is we're going just to kind of flash this to get this to draw to draw down on here. Okay. So let me um, throw the heat to it here. Yeah, let's see here. So just I'm just flashing it here to get it to kind of draw down a little bit. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go back and forth. I'm going to take and go up here. Now you see it's still not tight on it yet. So I'm going to go up here, squeeze it there, right there. And then I'm going to let this uh, draw down on it a little bit more. Now I'm just getting it close, okay? I'm just getting that to draw down. And then what I'm going to do, uh, let me get my torch on here because I got it really low here. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go down here and kind of do the same thing. I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to heat this up here a little bit there, just a little bit. Just getting it warm. Okay, I'm not going to melt the wires or anything. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to do the other side here. Okay. And the reason why I do this is that way I keep this uh, nice and flat here. Okay. And uh, we just kind of work our way down. I'll probably put some tape on this too, just to make it a little easier for me here. Let me, um, okay, we're back. All right, so let's uh, continue here. So, again, I'm just going to kind of flash this a little bit here. Just a little bit. Just to get it to shrink up here a little bit. to go just a little bit more so I will go back here and do this here Draw this down a little bit more here. Okay, good. I think that's got it. Okay. So there we go. So we got got two of them done there. Okay. There's one there, one there, and. Uh, you have to kind of adjust the cable a little bit, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little tape in some spots here just to kind of keep it uh, gathered up a little bit. But we want to keep the orientation of these wires correct because when we go to wire this thing up, we want to make sure we're on our, each end is on the same thing. We don't want to blow it up here. So, all right, so I'm going to do this a little bit more and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so we're making nice progress here. So um, I took the uh, tape off the end of it here. So we got one, two, three, four and five and so we are about a little over halfway with the cable so we're going to take and we're going to put some more on them here and then after that then we're going to get ready to uh, prep it to get ready to put on the IR sensor cable here okay so let me just finish this up and I'll be back okay guys so our wire is all shrink wrapped together and you can see this is our complete cable here let me uh, zoom in there and uh, yeah so there you go so it's all there's one two three four five six seven eight and like I said these are all nice and flat it keeps the wires looking pretty good there 
and then what we're going to do. The nice thing about this is if you pull it hard enough, you can kind of get a little slippage in there, so you can always keep them still nice and tight. But uh, yeah, so we're looking good. So now we're going to be, I cut the wires off even, so now I'm going to bear all the wires on both ends. Actually, we'll do one at a time. And then uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to start uh, working on our IR plug here. And what we're going to do is uh, we are going to cut the wire. Um, and we are going to do it uh, right here because that will give me some wire to work with here. So we're going to cut this wire right here. And, uh, oops, don't mess that up, Dave. You know, we're going to cut that. We are at the point of no return now, so now we are committed. So, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, bear the ends of these wires. We're going to bear the ends of the wires on the connector here. And then we will start soldering this together. Okay, so I'm going to get set up and I'll be right Okay guys, so I got the um, wires bared here. Uh, where are we at here? Oh. Uh, there we go, right there, sorry. All right, I got the wires bared right there. And we got the wires bared on the sensor part here, right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna solder all this together. Uh, I'm going to get this all set up and I'll solder right in front of you here. Okay, so we're back in just a minute. Okay guys, so we're going to start soldering this up here. And it looks like a real mess here at the moment, but when we get all soldered up, we'll get it all buttoned up and it'll look, it'll look good. So, alright, so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to tin our iron up here. And these wires are real thin. So we're going to take and uh, usually I do this over the wood, but oh well, we'll try not to burn our towel here. Yeah, I didn't have it. There we go. And uh, I will double check here, make sure it's stuck. Should be. Okay, good. Very good. Yeah, we're good there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide this up over here. Hard experience. Always, when you do one joint, slide your shrink tubing up because I almost guarantee you, you're going to actually bump it and you're not going to be able to get over the joint and then you're going to be mad at yourself. And then the sleeve, when we're all done, We'll kind of flatten these out a little bit and then we'll slide that sleeve up and flatten it out so it kind of matches that. So there's one done. Now we're going to do the next one here. Alright guys, that looks pretty good. That came out pretty good there. There, our plugs connected there. That's our joint, nice and secure. It's not going to come loose. It's very well reinforced. So now what we need to do is we need to hook up the other end of it here. Okay, so I'll go bear the wires on this one. I got to bear the wires on this one and we will get it all hooked up. Okay, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so we're going to start soldering this other plug on here. And we're going to get all ready here. And like I said, guys, I'm going to speed this video up. Um, it's just all repetitious, so 
you're not going to be missing anything. It's just going to be sped up a little bit here. Okay. Okay guys, so our cable is done. Let me uh, zoom out here. So our cable's done, There's the that's what goes onto the board. And this is the other end, and this is the IR sensor slash activity light for the computer. So anyway, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to hook it up, and uh, I'm not gonna put the uh, front on it, I'm just gonna plug the motherboard in and uh, I don't have a hard drive on it or the SSD so I'll just plug a, a USB stick in it that's got a system on it and see if it uh, boots. Alright, so I'll be back. Alright guys, so we're going to uh, power it up here and uh, see if this lights up. Um, I'm going to have to go upstairs and get my remote um, but I'll have to hook the screen up and everything. But right now I'm just going to for right now, I'm just going to see if this powers up. That'll tell me that my wiring is correct. So I'm going to flip the main power on. And we're going to push the power button. I'll turn it around here so you can see it there. And uh, here you go. So our long connector worked just fine. And like I said, I got plenty of room. I can attach it to the back side of that SE front cover plate behind the access uh, light there. And ought to look pretty good. And um, actually, let me uh, just do something real quick. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you what that light looks like here. And uh, we are lit up. So anyway, so when we get it all mounted up in here, let me get this. Just, I gotta be careful, I don't wanna unplug this thing again. Anyway, so, let me get it lined up here. See, there you, you can see what it looks like there. Right there. So it'll be lit up right there. See, I move that lens around in there a little bit. So yeah, so that's where it's gonna be. And then, like I said, the IR sensor will work. And so yeah, so that's gonna work out pretty good. So anyway, uh, this is a success on the wiring there, on the modifying the plug. And so anyway guys, um, that's gonna do it for this week on the Franken Mac. And uh, like I said, we got this cable made up. So what we're gonna be doing next is I do have a, a special USB right angle plug to go in the back of this. I also found a uh, offset HDMI plug that's a real flat like a ribbon cable and that's going to work out really perfect and uh, That's going to look really good and I'll sh have links on my video where you can get those off of eBay uh, One of them's coming from China So that's going to take a while to get here and then the other one's a local US seller and that should have that next week. So anyway guys, so this has been another uh, Days vintage Apple tech episode on the Frank and Mac and this is Sunday and I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye.